Today we're starting a new series about common mistakes that I see with Etsy shops. Some of these are from brand new sellers and sometimes I see pretty well established shops making these mistakes as well. We're gonna do three at a time for each video to keep it short and simple. So if you have suggestions or maybe some mistakes that you see a lot, then let me know and they can be in a future video. Let's get right into it. So in no particular order, number one is gonna be that the shop is incomplete. One of the first things I look at when I do a shop review is whether or not the shop is actually complete. This is one of the easiest things you can do, easiest things you can fix. You, there's not really much effort required. You just have to type a little bit and click some boxes and do some drop down things, but it's really pretty simple. And in the Etsy seller handbook, as part of the quality score ranking, if your shop is incomplete, then Etsy is not going to rank your products as highly in search as someone whose shop is complete. So what do I mean by that? There are lots of places for you to put information about you and your shop on your Etsy shop. So right away on the main page of your shop, you're gonna have the announcement section. You're also gonna have the about me, the shop story, your policies, your FAQs, your shipping profiles, all of that is your um, the completeness of your shop. And in some places, especially in the EU, you are required to have a privacy policy. I'm not in the EU, but I have one just in case. Etsy has one that you can copy and paste and just put your information in the blanks. It's pretty easy. Some of that stuff is pretty hard to find. So in your shop manager in the settings, there are places for you to put like your shop announcement, your order confirmation message, your um, like your about stuff is all in that page. But to get to the rest of it, you have to go and view your shop. So on your shop manager page on the bottom left hand side, there's your shop name down there like at the very bottom and you click on that. And that's where you can edit your shop. So this is where you're going to be able to reorder your listings if you want to. And then if you scroll all the way down, you can add your shop story. You can add like video and photos about your shop. And that is also where you would do your policies, your FAQ, and uh, just other stuff like that to be able to complete your shop. And this also helps keep people engaged with your shop because the more stuff there is for them to read and look at, the more time they're going to spend, the more of a connection you're able to make with them and the more likely they are to make a purchase. Whereas if your shop is pretty bare, there's nothing about you, people will, people go to Etsy to buy from a person, a small business, handmade stuff. So you have to kind of show that you're putting in the effort and that your shop is actually a person and not just a faceless corporation like Amazon, whatever. So number one was shop is incomplete, big mistake make sure it's complete. Number two is bad photo cropping. If you've ever tried to make a listing on Etsy and upload photos that are not already horizontal, you have a pretty bad time trying to get the like thumbnail image or the main photo to be cropped correctly. It's always crooked no matter how many times you fix it. I don't know why that function doesn't work, why they even have it in the first place if it doesn't work, but to avoid this, just take all of your listing photos horizontally to begin with and you won't have to crop anything. At least your first photo should be horizontal, but the other ones can be square or vertical. It just kind of looks better when people are scrolling through the photos if they're the same dimensions. I know we're used to taking everything vertically for most social media, but for Etsy listing photos, you want them to be horizontal. If you wanna do some photos that you can reuse for other things later, take it from a farther away or a wider angle and that way you can crop it to fit whatever you need because if you take a photo that's too close and you try to crop it to a different size, it gets cut off. So just take it from farther away to begin with. Number three is too few listings. I have a whole video about how many listings you should have. I'll link it in the description as well as any other applicable, applicable videos. But again, just to reiterate some things that I said in that video, there are several reasons why you should have more listings. And there is no magic number, although a lot of people are gonna say 100. That is just because it fills up a space. So 100 is not like exact. There's no like penalty for less than 100, but it's just like a general guideline. Like you don't have to, like the first day you open your shop, you don't have to post with 100 listings. That is not what I'm saying at all. But most shops that are full-time or make a substantial income from Etsy have at least 100, if not well over 100 listings. So one reason why you wanna have a lot more is that, like I said, with filling out your about sections, people are going to have more stuff to look at. So if you only have like four or five listings, maybe they stumble upon one of them in the search, then they go to click and see what else you have. They don't have many other options from your shop. 
So even if you do have like the free shipping guarantee and they don't find anything else that they like enough to add to their cart to get the free shipping guarantee, then they're probably not gonna buy. And think about it too, like if it was a regular brick and mortar store, you're going shopping, you see the store, go inside, they only have five items. How long do you think you're gonna spend in that store? Maybe like five seconds, just like glance, oh, they only have these five things, I'm not interested, and move on. Then think about a store like Target, Ikea, big stores like that, they have thousands and thousands of things and Seriously, when do you ever go into Target or Ikea without buying anything? Another reason to have a lot of listings is that Etsy loves when you add new ones regularly. Like I mentioned in that video, one listing a day is ideal, but it's not practical for everyone, especially if, you know, this is not your full-time job and you have other stuff to do. But Etsy likes to see that you are actively engaged in your shop because they want to promote good shops to their customers. So if you don't log into your account for weeks at a time, or maybe don't post any listings for months and months, They that signals to them that you're not really that serious or actively working on it, so they're gonna recommend somebody else's product over yours. Because they want their customers to have a good experience. So if you are not proving that you can provide that good experience, then why would they promote your shop? And then by having more listings, you have more chances that somebody is gonna see something in search. This is a big one. This is why you wanna have as many as you can because there is no niche on Etsy that is too saturated because the more listings you have, the more likely you are to be seen in a search for whatever keyword or whatever item you have. So let's say there's 10,000 results for whatever keyword you have. Like if you sell coffee mugs or something, there's probably way more than 10,000 coffee mugs on Etsy, but just for an example. So if you only have one coffee mug for sale, the chances of you getting found within those other 10,000, very slim. But if you have, I don't know, 20, 50, 100 mugs, you're more likely to be seen just on probability alone. And customers will start to notice if they do a search and your photos are similar, they're gonna notice that that's your same shop. So if they're searching on a computer, they can see your shop name and they'll probably start to recognize that. But if they're on their phone, your shop name actually doesn't show in the search just the rating and the photo. So if your photos are recognizable and they all kind of look the same, then somebody is going to be like, oh, I'm gonna go click on this shop because they seem to have a lot of this one thing, like this whatever coffee mug. I'm gonna go check out their shop and see if they have something else that I'll like better. So those were three common mistakes that I see when I review Etsy shops. Let me know if you have any other suggestions or any other suggestions for future videos. And give this video a thumbs up and I will continue this series. I have quite a few more ready to go. I don't have just three. There are a lot that I see that I pretty much repeat on most people's shop reviews. So if you want to get your own shop review tailored to your specific shop instead of just this generic advice, then go to my Ko-Fi page. The link is in my, in my bio. Wow, this is not TikTok. The link is in my description and it's under my shop page of my Ko-Fi. You can also buy me a coffee if you want. If you don't want a shop review, I would appreciate that as well. I have new videos about Etsy every Wednesday and Saturday, so stay tuned for those and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.